But if you take a pill probiotic, those bacteria are so sensitive, they're going to get killed with your stomach acid before it even makes it into your small intestine to yeah. get absorbed. Probiotics, they, I mean, they, most of them, there's a little bit at the, the tail end of your small intestine, but most of them are in your large intestine, your colon. That's the last part of your digestive system before toilet. You know? So you wizarded me again, because I was just about to say, friend of a friend has a patent on Sponsor. suppository Sponsor. probiotics. So I like that. Get <laughs> so it can yeah, get. Wind up there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, the doctor. You got to lick it and wind it up. I'm not a fucking professional here. Um, <laughs> And then he takes off the glove. <laughs> but uh, but that's the only way it's going to skip the stomach acid and yeah. actually get to, like you said, the tail end was a funny way to say it, but the colon and the large intestine. Yeah. So it can be absorbed in the bloodstream. So there's probably. a lot that has to go through It's not going to make it. It's not going to make it. Billions and billions of sensitive bacteria and the stomach acid just blows Yeah, out. it's one of those things. Podcast. The Bridge Podcast. Sean Nixon here. John Matthew. How are we doing today? It's snowing. It's crazy. I love it. I like snow. Snow's not bad. It's fucking beautiful. Don't freak out. Just water. Frozen rain. I was just about to say. It's just water. It's just water, Frozen guys. Rain, yeah. Everyone acts like the fucking sky is falling and it's the last day on earth. Right? <laughs> In a way, may all be connected. So this is the episode you've all been waiting for because you think supplements are the most important thing. And we're just here to say that that is the last baby 1% once your sleep, your food, your macros, your micros, your exercise routine, your, your whole shit is there. Supplements are to fill in the gaps and supplement. Yeah, that's the only one that's like optional, really. I don't think sleep. Yeah, I mean, and vitamin D may not be optional, but well, I mean, literally yeah. everything else is yeah. like completely optional. The stuff that uh, most of you guys are interested in taking is usually First, the right. They're yeah. like, I don't know, my form sucks. I'm eating pizza and wings. But well, this pre-workout will see. But I got fucking powders <laughs> and pills yeah. and potions. Yeah. And potions. So it's not about powders, pills, and potions. Uh, but some of them are fun and some of them do work and most of them are bullshit. And we're here to play some Mythbusters. We're going to play bullshit or legit later on. But... Um, First on the docket is supplements for your goals. So once again, uh, the answer is always it depends, and everybody's going to need blood work to see what they're deficient in. However, certain supplements for losing fat, certain supplements for gaining muscle, sports performance, and health. All right? Uh, supplements for fat loss. You're still going to want yourself a nice vitamin D. Mm. You're probably going to want magnesium and fat burners they're gonna be on the bullshit list for sure yeah. however nothing wrong with caffeine, caffeine no, to yeah. keep you going metabolically in a caloric deficit yeah. and just energy and stuff in a caloric deficit too you're also depending on the deficit depending on where you're eating obviously it depends right but you're going to be cutting out some food so you, again that may mean cutting out some potential nutrients that you would get on a more full or more calorie neutral Sure. Uh, diet there, so. And you know, if you're, ta you know, a fat burner, all it's gonna do, if you're if you're not eating properly and you're taking a bunch of fat burners, it's just gonna make you anxious. <laughs> it's not gonna do anything. Yeah. But if you're in a caloric deficit, that caffeine may blunt your hunger a little bit, and you'll be able to sustain it. Yeah. So use it as a tool. All supplements are tools. Other than that, I mean, there's no supplement out there. Let's just say that that's going to burn fat. There's no apple cider vinegar. That, the, well, some of these. Well, it's like let's break that. Just phrase down burning fat because it's, it's crazy. Just, it's just like uh, an ingrained term. Term. Yep. We don't. You never lose fat cells. They just nope. shrink. Yep. So there's no burning. Like it's just an image of just like you take a supplement and just like throwing melts, coals on it. The fat melted. melted off of me. Or I guess they have like that with the, the sculpt, the cool sculpt and stuff. And fat melter. Well, that's a that's, that's a, different. A, that's that's, a, that's a, you're literally freezing the cells. Cells. Yeah. And then there is cell death. That's a whole separate thing. But there's no supplement that's yeah, going to do nothing that. You're going to take internally. Right. It's going to burn fat. Burning. Um, so same thing, like whatever. Some of these apple cider vinegar, this and that, they have maybe some health benefits, 
but they're not going to help you burn fat. Lemon What's water, I see that one like on ad, like, try this one trick. It's in the clickbait yeah. stuff you guys hit. On or the even bottom. green tea. It's delicious. It's going to help you mentally focus. The thing about green tea specifically is different than anything else that has caffeine. That's the main reason. 100% correct. Yeah. So, um, like I said, you're going to want a nice fish oil, maybe some magnesium, definitely some vitamin D. Other than that, do you need protein powder? Do you need a fat burner? Do you need anything else for fat loss fat goals? Loss? No, because it's the supplement. Yeah. Like even a multivitamin, people are screaming right now. And I'm like, once again, if you're deficient in something, yeah. get that specific thing, specific you're vitamin yeah. or mineral and get after it. Maybe not popping a multivitamin isn't, maybe not the best thing. Um, supplements for gaining muscle. Uh, there's not too much that I can think of that claims to grow muscle other than bulk uh, weight gainer weight shakes. Weight gainers, yeah. But once creatine again, that's just does, calories. Does okay, creatine. Let's talk about creatine, that. Creatine, organine, all those good guys. But. Okay, so creatine for weight loss or weight gain it's, or health or sports performance is kind of going to all do the same yeah. thing. Creatine just increases. Yeah, in, what is creatine? Cause right. I, I think most people think it's some exogenous thing or some like yeah. weird thing, but it's not. Creatine just increases intercellular hydration. Right? So the water in the cell becomes larger, so you feel and look larger. And like you were saying on one episode, you may be able to crank out one extra repetition in the creatine phosphate phase of one to three repetition, like in a power yeah. phase in training. But it's not going to necessarily make you bigger or smaller. Uh, don't be afraid of it if you're trying to lose weight. And don't think it's magical if you're trying to gain weight. Yeah. Um, but like I said, it's in meat that you eat. And it's within your body already. Yeah. So, if you're a vegan, that might be but if you're vegan, it could be a groovy supplement to take. Yeah, or don't eat meat, vegetarian. Whatever. There you go. Yeah. If you're not getting enough creatine in your diet, then you would supplement with creatine. So the answer for that, since we're looking for specifics, is creatine monohydrate, approximately five grams per day. No loading, no bulking, no yeah, throwing it over your shoulder. Those are other types of creatine. They say are more potent. It's I, I don't know if there's been any evidence no. ever to prove nope. that. Nope. That's just to sell you more fancy shit. It's way more shit. expensive too. So creatine no. monohydrate, five grams a day, any time of day. If you want to get fancy and throw it in your pre uh, post workout shake, go right ahead. Uh, it's not going to be magical. What it does is it saturates into the into the cells, and once you reach that saturation level, I don't take creatine because I. I used to eat a lot of meat. Yeah. If I go long enough not eating meat, then I will take creatine. Yeah. It becomes beneficial as a supplement. Um, what else for weight gain? You say, yeah, like mass gainers. Yeah. So once again, I think that's just a bunch of junk calories. Yeah. And if it helps you put that extra five cal 500 calories on because two scoops is whatever, Yeah. and it hits your goals, then that's great. But if you're trying to be like super healthy... I think there's too much junk in yeah, there. Yeah, and I have always found like it's not even like they're not even reasonable size scoops. Oh, like no, I remember when I used to do it when I was got when I was into like when I was 13, 14, I'm like I need these wet mass gainers. That's yeah. what I'm looking to do. Because they had muscle milk and then they had monster milk. I had monster milk. Of course. And, you did. Then, um, and a couple other ones. Oh, I had some really nasty ones. Ugh. Bulk five. But literally, like can you look in regular protein scoop oh, like yeah. this little cylinder? It would be like a shovel. Oh, it's a shovel. Like two and a half heaping shovels. It's a child. Um, sandbox shovel. Yeah, it's like a Tonka. Tonka, 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 Tonka shovel, Tonka for sure, shovel. with the little backhoe. So, I mean, 600 calories of mass gainer, 600 calories of food. Yeah, just eat a steak. One's way, I mean, one's way easier to get in, in my opinion. Well, so for some people, like you said, if that mass gainer shake is what you need, you're on the go that On much. the go is usually what any protein powder is But for. at that point, I'd probably just make my own shake. Like, I'm... Once I realized, I, once I, realized I could make my own shakes at the blender, like a simple blender, like not even a fancy one. Now you're saving money and getting better micronutrients, better digestibility, Yeah, and everybody wins. So uh, unless we're going to talk about performance enhancing supplements that change your endocrine system, so um, testosterone and testosterone derivatives, yeah. um, they do work well. They do work well. Um, I wouldn't fuck around with too many of the synthetic ones um, for health reasons, but... Um, you know, girls take birth control, some of them, some females. That's, That's a steroid, yeah. right, and it's blocking certain hormones and stuff. Um, testosterone, for males at a certain age, if your natural levels dip down and you go to the doctor and they do your blood work and they check your liver enzyme levels and you get the proper amount, whatever, 100, 200, 250 milligrams a week, that's great under doc doctor supervision. Uh, but once again, supplements, and then you're some, or if you're trying to trade health for performance as a, a power lifter, pro wrestler, whatever the fuck, yeah. a bodybuilder, bodybuilder, where they're not testing, yeah. juice it up. And now you're 
trading some health for performance yeah. because of your goal. So everything is goal dependent. Do it safely though. It's right yeah. It's right wrong. Yeah. There's not. It's not drugs are bad. It's abuse. set setting and it's dosage. Abuse is bad. Abuse of anything is yeah, bad. Yeah. Um, you know, you take one Tylenol, there's no more headache. You take the whole bottle, yeah, it's yeah. your last headache. <laughs> You're never going to have a headache again. There you go. Um, you know, <laughs> salt, everything is a, is a bell-shaped curve. Yeah. Too much salt, you're dead. Not enough salt, you're dead. Too much water, you're dead. Not enough water, you're dead. Yeah. Everything, balance. Um, so then that leads us, so, you know, for bulking it is what it is. For sports performance, 50 million supplements. I guess we'll get to some in the bullshit or legit as far as like what's overrated and yeah. what is legit. Because once again, most of them. Making up a number, 98% of supplements are bullshit that GNC is trying to sell you. Yeah. Um, but some actually do have benefits. And then performance, once again, there's plenty of awesome nootropics and mushroom supplements and this and that for mental, mental performance, performance and cognitive, cognitive performance. Yeah, for so sure. we can get into those. Um, when we get to what we currently take, I take a bunch of stuff like that. Yeah. Um, and then I guess throwing nootropics in the bullshit are legit. So yeah. For, for, Performance, there's plenty of supplements that do work. Yeah. And physical, then health. Yeah, um, yeah, physical or mental performance. Yeah. Um, for health, I think that goes back to the it depends as far as what if will, you're deficient in something. Yeah, what's going to get you healthier. Right. Yeah. What's going to get you specifically healthier. Health. So vitamin D for sure. Yeah. Magnesium most likely. And everything else you need blood work to figure out what you are lacking. Yeah. Unless, like you said, if you're, carn if you're eating too much meat, you might need some vitamin C. If you're eating not enough meat or none, you might need vitamin B. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like some holes you can fill in. For sure. Um, so once again, it, it's always, it depends. We just have been going by these goals, so we like to break it down like that. Do you have anything else on those? Or you want to get to the list? Um, I mean, we can probably get to the list. I mean, the reason it's supplements is it's just the last line of, it's the last line. So like if you, you may not even get to this line, right? Right. You know, it may not even be necessary. Right. Um, Just buy a bottle of vitamin D and fucking eat some food and exercise. Yeah. And keep on going. But like you know, like you said, if it helps you, you know, drink more water, BCAs, you put in your water, makes up to drink more right. water. Right. Great. Be Little trick or uh, anti-inflammatory stuff. Yeah. Or sleep stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you want to take some CBD and some lavender before bed because it helps you calm Ooh. down, that's fine. That's nice. Um, yeah. So nice. <laughs> um, so many different things. Turmeric. Curcumin, yeah. um, anti-inflammatory stuff. Um, you got a big list? Let's play the game. Bullshit or legit? Bullshit or legit. We invented it here, folks. We'll get these sound bites for you. I'm just going to throw some you. random ones out at you. All right. Bullshit or legit? Fish oil. Three to six grams a day. Everyone should be taking it. Why? Omega-3 to six to nine ratio. Um... You're okay with like a flax oil if yeah. you're on the vegan train? Yeah. Or just getting like enough flaxes. avocados in and enough? Um, I like flax. I mean, flax is easy for me to just throw into like flax oil or like flax seeds. If there you I go. Make some cooking with that. But. So I would say omega-3 supplements, legit. You want to keep them in the refrigerator because they'll oxidize quickly. And like I said, depending on the person and the weight and the situation, we'll call it three to six grams a day. But it depends on how many... Omega-6 and omega-9s, because we're looking for more of a ratio. Than total amount. Than right? total amount, yeah. but for anti-inflammatory properties, like a tablespoon, you know, we're not going to break down yeah. uh, EPA and DHA and stuff like that, but get a high quality. If you're going for fish oil, you want Carlson's. If you're going for flax oil, I don't know if you have a brand, but you definitely want organic. Yeah. Uh, I know the brand off the top of my head. Yeah. It's going to come to me. Something I'll good. look it up. Um, what do we got for bullshit or legit? Bullshit or legit. ZMA. So ZMA is zinc and magnesium. Uh, it used to be sold as like, boost your testosterone 10,000%. And the only reason why they came up with that number is because most people are deficient in zinc and magnesium. And zinc can help um, testosterone production and endocrine uh, health. If you're deficient. Only if you're deficient. It doesn't boost anything whatsoever. Yeah. So since zinc is hard to get from food, we're talking... 30 to 60 milligrams per day is nice for, for males, maybe a little bit less for females. Mm. Um, and magnesium, once again, depends on whether you're talking about citrate, glycinate. I mean, I like approximately 800 milligrams, let's say. Let's say 600 to 800 milligrams. Gonna help. That's going to help sleep, nervous system, muscular function, so many different things. If you're going with citrate, more is not better because that becomes a laxative. Yeah. You will shit your pants. Oops, no pants. Um, 
Glycinate, you can get away with a little bit more and they do different things. Any supplement that says oxide is bullshit because it's synthetic um, and made in a lab and doesn't absorb into your body whatsoever. So for magnesium, let's say 400 to 800 milligrams at night is kind of nice. Citrate or glycinate. Zinc, uh, picoleinate is the only one that absorbs well into the body. And like I said, 30 to 60 milligrams per day. So if you're deficient, which you may very, may very well be, legit. But ZMA, increasing fucking muscle, muscle and mass. testosterone, bullshit. So you said, though, so I see it often also marketed to as like a sleep aid. And you yeah. Say, you say that's because of the magnesium. Because if of the you're, magnesium. If you're deficient, just right. like the zinc, if you're deficient, it will be a muscle increasing. Perhaps. Perhaps. Um, that's how they get away with saying shit like that. Yeah. They dance around. They the, dance around the, the truth. Yeah. Just like everyone else. Whoa. That's deep, man. <laughs> that's what we're uh, here for. Here's another one that yep. we just kind of... Throw them out. Throw them out. Nitric oxide. So, once like again, is it going to build muscle? Absolutely not. Vasodilation? Is it yeah, so some flow, people make like... Make veiny? Right. Well, make you veiny for sure yeah. and give you the tingles and jingles for sure. Uh, extend a set and chasing the pump and whatnot, sure. Yeah. Magical for fat loss or muscle gain? Absolutely not. No. Some people would say more pump is more blood flow, more blood flow is more nutrients to the muscle. Um, and as an indirect way to... As an indirect way, no well said, but there's to... no way to replicate that in a study. So once again, if it's in your pre-workout supplement and you like it, great. Um, but on its own for building muscle, it ain't gonna do shit. Because that's exactly what it is. A vasodilator, yeah. meaning the veins get larger, you rush more bl blood to certain areas. Um, Ladies love a vascular man. Yeah, I mean, they do. That's why we got <laughs> veins popping out everywhere. <laughs> All right, beautiful. here's one for you. Glutamine. Glutamine. Acid. Yeah, I was going to say, it's one of the nice amino acids. A lot of times they'll throw that in with like a, a branch chain supplement, like a BCA supplement. Yeah. Um, for muscle building, right? Because it depends, right? So. Uh, it always depends because glutamine has nice effects on like digestion. Yeah, if you got like a fucked up stomach, you can take, for. yeah, and that's legit. But as muscle building, complete bullshit. And once again, if you're eating enough protein, Throughout your day, we're talking right macros first, micros, food quality. Then you have plenty of branch chain amino acids, essential amino acids, and glutamine all in there. So on its own, I would say only legit for calming an upset stomach, not legit for muscle building. Gotcha. So half bullshit. Here's one for you. Probiotics. Probiotics. Ah. Some of the huge. I'm glad you said that one. Some of the hugest. Huge. Huge. As far as on paper, what it's supposed to do, beautiful. What it actually does, bullshit. Meaning, Make probio it 10 pounds? Is it gonna no, be absolutely not. But what I'm saying is, just from a health standpoint, you're better off eating fermented foods, homemade yogurt, kimchi, sauerkraut, uh, what am I forgetting? Kombucha, kefir, bunch of shit. Any fermented foods, right? You're going to get that good back gut bacteria from that. Will that make you happier, healthier, and eat better, and lose weight, and look better? Perhaps, along the way. Uh, but if you take a pill probiotic, those bacteria are so sensitive, they're going to get killed with your stomach acid before it even makes it into your small intestine to yeah. get absorbed. Probiotics, they, I mean, they, most of them, there's a little bit at the, the tail end of your small intestine, but most of them are in your large intestine, your colon. That's the last part of your digestive system before toilet. So, you wizarded me again, because I was just about to say, friend of a friend has a patent on Sponsor. suppository yes. probiotics. So I like that. Get his, so it can yeah, get... Yeah, the up there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, the doctor. You got to lick it and wind it up. Not a fucking professional here. Um, and then he takes off the glove. But... Uh, but that's the only way it's going to skip the stomach acid and yeah. actually get to, like you said, the tail end was a funny way to say it, but the colon and the, and the large intestine. Yeah. So it can be absorbed in the bloodstream. So there's probably. a lot that has to go through. It's not going to make it. It's not going to make it. Billions yeah. and billions of sensitive bacteria and the stomach acid just blows Yeah, it's one of those supplements that, like you said, on paper, what it actually does, what it actually Huge. is real. It's legit. Yeah, you need but good it gets gut marketed as... Saves lives. Will, will help you lose, like, 10 pounds as a weight loss no. thing. Like, probiotics, like, and I hear this a lot, too, is like... It made me like like people associate weight loss and bloating is the same thing, but they're not the same thing. Absolutely at all. not. No, 
Like you, bloating you is you either ate too much, drank too much, or ate the wrong thing. So it has yeah. nothing to do with fat or muscle. It makes you look, maybe you like it. For a couple hours until you go to the bathroom. That's not how the body works. That's not how the yeah. world works, guys. Yeah, and just like uh, you know, like you said a blood panel for probiotics, it's really hard to know. No. What you're deficient in specifically. Exactly, because there's trillions and gazillions, of, trillions of, and gazillions. Of, of bacteria. You say good or bad bacteria. Right. Bacteria that, you know, disrupt the homeostasis in the environment can lead to things like potentially like some cravings Food or cravings. sugars 100%. or stuff that makes you gain weight. So in theory, it could... Indirectly, once again. Yeah. Uh, but, um, so probiotics as a thing, huge. Probiotic supplement, bullshit. Yeah. Love it. What's next? All right. We've got some... Arginine. Once again, are we throwing that in with the beta alanine conversation yeah, where it's like can. nice in a stack for pre workout, but as far as building muscle well, or those, losing fat, yeah. overrated. And I guess uh, carnosine would be, I guess, be the same. Yeah, so it, the, a lot of times they'll sell, they'll sell that for like fat loss. Yeah. I would say that part is bullshit, but yeah. once again, if it's in a pre workout stack or something and you're already enjoying the other benefits of that, go right ahead. How about this? Because you just said pre-workouts as a whole. <sighs> a lot of times you're right? just paying for expensive stimulants with a fancy name. I've done everyone on the planet and had amazing workouts with them, but my personal opinion... And it explode? Oh, of course. It was fucking raised on it. It was in my <laughs> fucking baby bottle. Um, the diminishing returns. I think you're zapping your nervous system way too much. I mean, I used to drink fucking gallon of coffee and tea and pop. Um, fat burner pills and take two, three scoops of pre workout. Grams. Yeah, oh, yeah, grams of caffeine, which is ridiculous. <laughs> now I have a little tea in the morning and I love life and I fucking go. Yeah. So to me, it's not worth zapping your adrenal glands and taxing it because, you know, everything, any drug and any supplement has a tolerance where you want minimum effective dose and yep. then move up the ladder. Yep. So at one point, you're just fucking scooping away. So are they bullshit? Absolutely not. They're going to give you a great. Workout yeah. as far as some physical stuff, a lot of mental stuff. You know, the number one nootropic there is is caffeine, it's caffeine. and it's a hell of a stimulant. Yeah, um, probably the amount, obviously, and use of tolerance is important. I think. Yeah, so I think this would go under the use responsibly um, yeah. way to go. It's better to uh, meditate, take a cold shower, sleep better, eat better, drink more water than to just fucking not sleep and redline it and take yeah. a bunch of pre-workouts. I was just thinking about something too, because you said you tried all the pre-workouts like under the sun. Oh. Um, I remember back when I was probably, it had to be a junior in high school. That's when like Jack came out or like Jack 3D oh, yeah. that came out. And With that, the 1-3 Demi in there? Yeah. So that was, and they had, they had two supplements, that and they had another one, I forget. Oh, yeah. Um, that had amphetamines in it, too. Oh, yeah. And so people who were taking supplements were experiencing, you know, oh, some yeah. benefits from it. I think it was three of the five ingredients in meth yeah. are in Jack. Yes. Three yeah, of five. Exactly, yeah. And so I remember, <laughs> I remember my friend Pat, uh, like, took some for the first time, and like, he, we were, like, just hanging out right before, like, school, and he was fucking just, like... <sighs> Woo! Yeah, and like, yeah, it was one thing to be like, you know, like English class, seventeen-year-old puberty kid, like who's lifting weights, but this was like another level. Like he was like, dude, this shit. He, he, he introduced me to it, and I started taking. I'm like, this shit is amazing. And oh, I, meth is amazing. Yeah, um, I go back even further well, than that meth. to ephedra when that was legal. Yes, just pop them was, like fucking Tic Tacs and that was, that was a stack, right? It was, a, it was beautiful. A, 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 oh yeah, caffeine, yeah, yeah, aspirin, and then ephedra. It was yeah, like a cutting stack, which was legit. Super legit. Yeah. Super legit. That's old school yeah, as fuck. That old blow your fucking adrenal glands out then you would do that for a couple weeks or a couple months and then take Benadryl to have the reverse tolerance Benadryl, on your adrenal receptors huh. so then you get groggy as fuck so you can go another couple uh, weeks of, cap of the stimulants yeah. oh yeah baby it's a little up down, it's a little deep. Up down. but that's the thing like I said now sleep stress level food water is on point you don't need three scoops of fucking mega super pump or whatever the fuck super crap, pump. and blowing your eyeballs out so does it give you a good workout absolutely yes but uh mm. we're talking supplements there's drugs within these supplements all drugs need to be used wisely responsibly set setting dosage well said sir well said been there that's how we can talk on this shit because we've done everything i done did it <laughs> um Let's see, CLA, conjugated linoleic acid. So once again, they'll sell that, they'll market that as uh, burning all kinds of fat. 
And it's like, once again, that's in grass-fed beef, grass-fed dairy, lots of red meats. And so if you're eating properly, you're going to have plenty of CLA. Um, and whether or not you have enough, supplementing it's not going to um, make you burn fat whatsoever. So I would like to see some studies on being deficient in that, being super unhealthy before I say complete bullshit. But as far as fat burning, bullshit. bullshit. So fat burning... Uh, what about muscle building with tribulus terrestris? So, I mean... I never it, got into that when I was in high Yeah, school well, we've yeah, all I got tried sold. it. I got sold. We've all been sold. Like so P6 basically, or whatever they have. Yeah, <laughs> tribulus is in, the, is in the test booster family, which is 100% bullshit. At this point, I'm serious, you'd be better off going to your doctor, checking your blood levels, and getting on actual testosterone than fucking around with deer antler spray and t tribulus and fucking nonsense. And if you're like... My age, or you know, oh, don't do school, any of that. Any of that Just yeah. eat more. Yeah, eat exactly. More, yeah. Stop. Um, but no, I would say that's one hundred percent bullshit. I don't know like other effects. Like it may have some good side effects, but as yeah, far as boosting, to do to nothing to do with muscle building whatsoever. Did we talk about branched chain amino acids or we essential we, amino we have acids? Not. We have not gotten there. I think you mentioned it well, where it's like if you eat enough protein, they're complete bullshit, but they can have some cognitive benefits. And the biggest thing is making the water taste better. So if it helps you hydrate more, yeah, good. Yeah, branched chain amino acids um, or or EAAs, any kind of amino acid supplement. Um, yeah, it's, it's essentially a, it's just a fancy way of setting a protein. Basically. Yeah, we took your protein, we broke it down into amino acids, and sold it back to you in powder. Back to you. Exactly. Yeah. So it's expensive, fancy powder with artificial um, sweeteners, sweeteners and stuff, and um, not bullshit. Because they are, because they're a real thing. They're a real thing that are awesome, uses effectively. But. but building muscle, if you're eating over 100 grams of protein, you're not building any extra muscle because of powder. No, Let's put exactly. It that way. Yes, yeah, that's a good way to put it. How about mm, multivitamin? Multi. Let's do multi. Yeah. Uh, you know me. I'm a fan of vitamin D with with K1 and K2 and MK4 and MK7. So vitamin D and K together because um, they're hard or impossible to get through food. The rest of the stuff in the multivitamin, I don't like it. I don't like... You don't um, like 5,000 percent daily value of anything? That's the thing. It's not enough of some stuff. It's too much of other stuff. And who's absorbing what and who needs what? It all depends. So I am... I don't want to say bullshit, but like I'm saying bullshit. Because I've done... I've taken multivitamins and I've not taken multivitamins and it's better to eat healthy. Yeah. So I'm saying bullshit on multi. You're saying bullshit. Vitamin D, not bullshit. A second. Um, greens supplements. For me, really popular great, now. great question. Because once again, what's in them separately, not bullshit at all. But as a compound, I say bullshit because it's almost too much. It's almost too good to be true. They're too so stacked together. Too, it's so little of everything. It's millions and millions of things and you think more is better. And it usually tastes like shit. Sometimes it doesn't digest well, and yeah. you'd be better off just eat like like you said before. I mean, five hundred micrograms of broccoli because, because of the DIM in the in yeah. the in the in the cruciferous vegetable, and we powderized it and fucking freeze dried it, or you can just eat some broccoli. And so, yeah. oh, is that spirulina? Like, oh, that's great. Yeah, spirulina is great. But you don't need to pay one hundred and twenty dollars a month for a fucking freeze dried powder. Yeah, when you could just eat a salad. So I would say. Overrated and mostly bullshit. Okay, greens. Yeah. Touch on the spirulina. What about blue green algae as a supplement? So I'm a fan of algae, spirulina, chlorella, sea moss, like all these things because they're easy to supplement because we don't get them in our diet anymore. Yeah. If you're a fucking caveman or an ancestral type of uh, human being, your civilization is near water or ocean, you know, river or ocean. Yeah. So you're gonna get plenty of like algae type of stuff. That's why they didn't need a magnesium or zinc supplement and shit like this yeah. or vitamin D because they're getting it from the sea. Um, I was going to ask you about that, honestly, to, to look into taking like a sea moss spirulina. Um, what was the one that you asked me about specifically? Uh, algae. Or, or algae or something yeah. like that. So once again... Yeah, I would say I would say not both. I would say legit. I would say legit. It depends on what for, right? So depends what for. If it's being marketed as... Muscle building fat, fat loss... loss Definitely most not. things, but as health, right? Health, yeah, sure. Especially if you're again on a specific diet that is missing. Cause, Love it. Yeah. You know, Love it. They cover a lot of bases that you want. Yeah, get, and it's not a synthetic. Nah, that's the best part. Yeah. Um, 
I don't know if you call this a supplement necessarily, but like MCT oil is on this. Let's yeah, so here. MCT oil is medium chain triglycerides. It's the only fatty acid that can penetrate the blood brain barrier to help with cognitive function. And what they do is they extract it from coconut oil and spin it in a centrifuge and just give you some processed MCT oil. I love it. Um, definitely legit as far as cognitive function and. Um, like health as far as medium chain, chain fatty acids go, but definitely bullshit as far as like super fat burning gets you into ketosis and yeah. you can still eat pizza and just slam oils and whatever. Yeah, else. I can eat pizza and just chug MC2. And then I'm um, um, keto no, and I'm um, shredded. Bad. It's like there's like four things wrong with that sentence <laughs> right off the bat. Um, so super legit as a, I don't want to say neutral because it's not as like cognitive function for healthy okay. fats. Um, so super legit You're doing, that. Uh, like a butter coffee or Fucking A, coffee? right. I put, so right now I just, I skip the butter and just do MCT oil in my tea. Um, like a nice high, like a brain octane, um, super purified, fancy MCT oil. Um, just for the health benefits. I don't even yeah. need the extra fats. But yes, I have done butter, tea, butter, coffee, MCT, butter. Tastes good. Coconut oil. It just tastes good because I like the taste of coconut and it has some nice healthy fats in there. Yeah. Is it super necessary? No. Is it overrated? Probably. Is it good for you and tastes good? Yeah. Yeah. I'd say so. Yeah. What else we got on here? We call them protein powders. I was about to say supplement. whey protein and casein protein. And I don't fuck with it because I like to eat food, but is it bullshit? Absolutely not. It's legit as a food source. Check the macros. macros. Have it fit your goals. For fancy muscle building, Complete bullshit. Complete Nothing bullshit. Nothing different than just eating food. Not even a little bit. Yeah. The only thing that they would be for is if you're a little guy that's trying to get a lot of calories in and, and your you, stomach is full and, and you need liquid stuff. Yeah. Or if you're on the go. Um, genuinely conven for genuine convenience. Convenience. Um, what else we got? Nootropics, mushrooms. L theanine. I'm throwing that one at you. Oh, theanine. That's good shit. Yeah. I like that a lot, actually. Yeah, green tea. You're going to get that in green tea. And I... Um, the only, I stopped drinking energy drinks, but the new Jocko energy drink has no artificial sweeteners, low caffeine, and high L-theanine. Oh, it's so usually it's the opposite, so, yeah. It's usually the opposite, so you're all stemmed out and buzzy. This theanine has a bouncing effect on the caffeine, which is why like green tea is... Has Calming, the, but still focused, benefits, yeah. more than like stem grinding your teeth. Yeah. Getting your jaw <laughs> yeah. going. Um, yeah, so I would say super legit. Super legit. Um, like you said, in green tea, or I don't know if you're talking about like a... I was just thinking, I pills. had green tea. I never have taken it as a pill. Right. If it was... But as a um, you know, nutrient, nutrient. Yeah, for sure. Super legit. Love it. That's uh, where we're getting into the nootropic yeah, um, conversation. Yeah, there's a lot of those. Speaking of that, let's just top for while we're on that train. Ashwagandha. So that's in the adaptogens yeah. um, category. Super legit. So... Like we were saying before, uh, your ginsengs, your ashwagandhas, your maca, maca ro rotalia, a um, bunch of different things. Super great for adrenal health and the endocrine system. I was telling you I used to do too many stimulants and then I would take a break, but I would load up on ashwagandha and ginseng okay. and stuff yep. like that. So you still got some type of focus. Um, the greatest strength trainer of all time, uh, Charles Polkwin, always recommended... I forget what his protocol was, like lifting days, blast yourself with caffeine, and then rest days, blast yourself okay. with ashwagandha really? to kind of balance out the adrenal glands. So you never get adrenal fatigue or overtraining or taxed, you and you always get the benefits of the stem of both, yeah. of both instead of just yeah. having to go more caffeine, more cap. Yeah. By Friday, you're doing three scoops. Yeah. He's like, stay with Which your black know. coffee on Monday, yeah. <laughs> and on Tuesday when you're resting or doing cardio, yeah. just go right. ashwagandha. Yeah, super smart. Cause, oh, and his pre-workout, he had like the red and the blue pill or something like that, yeah. <laughs> where the red was for heavy lifting days, and it was like caffeine, uh, and uh, the blue pill was all that, and then the blue pill was adaptogens uh, and ashwagandha uh, and stuff, so you would take it on cardio or rest day. Interesting. And it was either, it was playing with the yin and yang of your adrenal glands. Yeah, and that's what you got to do. Pulling push. energy in and pushing energy out. A lot of the supplements are just like more, 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 more. Push, 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 push way, only, one not, not any pull, right. Um, so super legit. So uh, ashwagandha specifically, and adaptogens in general, super legit. You ever fuck with like bacopa and stuff? Yeah, like that? that's yeah. something. What would you put that into a category of? Would you put that as nootropic or is that? An I was gonna say uh, nootropic. Nootropic, yeah. So nootropics as a whole, 
just define that for people who don't aren't familiar with the nutrient. Brain thing. supplements. Brain supplements. That's Cognitive supplements. Uh, enhancements. So the most popular one is caffeine, um, as like a low level. But then you get into the racetam family yeah, and um, yeah, so many. There's an endless amount of those, and I've tried them all. Yeah. Um, and there's uh, like other nor not say normal, but you ever take fanny butt? I've heard of it. No, I've never taken Dude, it. Dude, I have trip notes of pages really? of doing way too much Fanny Bud. I got crazy Just stories on that. Yeah, but there's better There's better drugs out there. Yeah, like I paired uh, like the Rastans with mushrooms before. Sure. And that was very intense. Sure. Case. I've done it very with, um, yeah. what's the shit they give to the fighter pilots and shit? Oh. Pharmaceutical uh, nootropic. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, Provigil. Yes, 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 yes. You done it with that? Too? Oh yeah, oh, wow. provisional. Fuck you up. But the beauty of it is, you're like Einstein, uh, on fucking Adderall for like a day, and then, and then you're retarded the next day, right? Yeah. And you need to sleep for fucking twenty hours because there's no biological free lunch. What goes up must come yes, down. Yes, yeah. So I would rather do sustainable, sustainable stuff like lion's mane if we want to get into like mushrooms. It's mushrooms, yeah. Um, lion's mane's my favorite favorite nootropic. Helps with not only cognitive function, but memory, and actually can help uh, regenerate brain, um, not tissue, but like nerve endings and stuff like that. Mm. So for like people who are taking those stuff and they say like they're skeptical about its effects, can you say something you can feel tangibly or is it? Lion's mane specifically? Yeah. Yes. You can feel Memory it. recall, word recall, um, less stuttered is and stammered. Is that more specifically with lion's mane? Like, cause there's, let's talk about all the other ones. Like yeah, break each one down, you got, yeah. You got turkey tail, you got reishi, you got... Um, all great, and all show great functions for immune health and brain health and, and some digestive stuff, but specifically immune system mm -hmm. in studies. But for me, the two that you can really feel would be cordyceps for performance as far as endurance, endurance yeah. muscular and cardiovascular endurance, and um, lion's mane for memory and focus and cognitive enhancement mm. and stuff. Um, but like you said, reishi, turkey tail, chaga, all these different mushrooms, super nice. Um, the best um, brand, the only brand I would fuck with would Stamets be the brand. Host Defense, which is from Paul Stamets, the world leading myco mycologist. Mycologist? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Definitely check him out if you don't know who he is. Oh my God, Paul Stamets. Hero of all mushrooms. He's the man. And mushrooms are the shit. Mushrooms can be Poison, food, supplement, Psychedelic, or, yeah. or, you know, God, God. <laughs> yeah, basically. I've been calling God. So the whole thing. know your mushrooms and use them wisely. And uh, you know, course stuff too, like all those that you may have not have heard, but like uh, you know, portobello mushrooms, delicious, and, yeah. and some benefits. health benefits, yeah. and plenty of uh, you know, it's 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 been said before, but it's worth saying, the fungus Shitake. kingdom. Yeah. Shiitakes are delicious. I love portobellos. Everything, all kinds of mushrooms. Um, the fungus kingdom is closer to the animal kingdom than it is the plant kingdom. They have all kinds of wisdom and oh, yeah. communications and all kinds of fancy shit. So mushrooms are your friend. Fungus is intense. In a oh, good yeah. way. In a good way. Yeah. Saving lives. What else? Maybe throw us a couple. A few more at you here. What? It feels like there's millions more that we're skipping. There's, what a, there's, I... a, there's a ton. Um, what's a... Uh, Here's a good one, tyrosine. Um, oh, that just reminded me of a bunch of sleep supplements. What do you, oh, so tyrosine you're putting in with. Um, I guess that might be as a category in with. Um, with theanine and shit, essentially? Yeah, I guess it would be, it, it does, you know. In that. So it would be in like a pre-workout stack, essentially? Yeah. I don't know. I've never done it on its own, no, to be honest with you. Yeah, that's, I've that's had a, it like a lesser known. Yeah, no, I've known. had it in, like oh, I said, pre-workout in so stuff as compounds. Yeah, so yeah. as a stack, I can't say that that's magical or bullshit per se. Have you ever done it on its own no. at a legit no, dosage? No, no. Yeah, no. Not sure so if I've ever even had it in the, my my own. Yeah, so supplements. that's the thing. So I'd say bullshit on its own if if they're claiming for it to be magical. Gotcha. But then that just reminded me of like sleep stuff. So melatonin like maybe? melatonin, super legit, but better than supplementing melatonin would be if you just saw some sun in the morning and then stopped watching screens and blue yeah. light in your eyes at night. Triggered your own release of melatonin. And your pineal gland would secrete its own melatonin. But everyone wants to abuse their pineal gland with fluoride and other nonsense. Yeah, I just want to do all the unhealthy stuff and not have the consequences of the unhealthy and stuff. And then pop pills. 
and then there's a pill for that. I can't wake up, there's a pill. I can't go to sleep, there's a pill. All of a sudden, you're just like the chicken grandma boy. Just yeah, like, just a tackle box full of pills for every little thing. <laughs> Uppers, downers, lefters, writers, screamers, criers, laughers. Screamers. <laughs> <laughs> We've all been there. Oh, yeah. I like the natty way now. The natty, oh, natty. Um, but yeah, uh, CBD is nice. I don't know if we want to get too far into that. Yeah. But um, anti-anxiety, anti-depression, anti-inflammatory, anti, like, like sleep, anti-epileptic, like for anti huge, epilepsy, freaking huge. Stuff, yeah. So that's big. Um, you know, lavender, lemon balm. What am I forgetting for like sleep? A um, bunch um, of different like calming supplements like that yeah like a lot of herbs a lot of like essential oils too dude i was gonna say dude if you had a whole thing of Lying just herbs yeah. and essential oil yeah. yeah and essential oils shoot and once again curing cancer and broken legs and magical shit no but legit for smelling nice making you feel mm -hmm. nice and connecting some things yeah. anything anything that stimulates or has response to your senses is something that has response in your brain so like Sound healing is legit. Yeah. Sound Super can't legit. heal you. Well, you ever heard a song and start to cry? Yeah, that's happened to you. Or you ever hear a song and you get scared? Could, or pumped up or, or pumped anything up. else. Yeah. That's what, imagine watching any movies with no music. You ever tried it? It's, it's, it's not, it makes the movie. It makes the entire movie. Makes the entire, oh, who was that quote? Not Tarantino, one of the best directors. He goes, he goes, uh, directing movies is just an excuse to get into the editing room to put music in there. Dude, the music, <laughs> uh, Hans Zimmer, some of those guys Dude. are just like, John Williams are just like destroying, just crushing. Beautiful. To, to be able to like, we're going to on a tangent here, but to like have the spacious awareness to conceive something like that yep. for a specific... Because they could already hear it and see it before it's, it's even there. It's, it's, a, like it's, a, it's, own, it's its own fluent language. Like yes, they're it is. masters of its own, its own language. Beautiful. Anyway, but I was saying back with the essential oils, like the smell or that going into your nose, something that's going into your brain is changing chemistry within there. 100%. So, I mean, so that makes them legit. Yeah, I mean, because you'll see a lot of like, you know, hardcore woo woo people like. Right, like you it? put it on a broken leg or something. It's like, okay, yeah, maybe really you're giving cool. it a bad name, but you ever been nauseous and smelled lavender? Yeah, you feel I've, a lot better. Get, boom, my headaches. Boom, yeah. boom, boom, boom. Yeah. So many nice things. All good things. Um, what else are we forgetting? There's got to be more. Yeah, so curcumin is just derived from. Uh, turmeric, which is an amazing, I was going to say herb, but it's more like a root. Yeah, it's, it's kind of ginger. It's like a ginger, which is another great supplement, yes. which is a food. Uh, either way, curcumin, great for anti-inflammatory properties. So if you're not eating a bunch of turmeric, you nothing wrong with supplementing with curcumin no. if you're feeling a little achy and inflamed. Did we mention... Uh, glucosamine, MSN, and no, no, chondroitin? Because no, I great, think those are legit health. for joint health. Yeah, they, they Biggest thing for joint them. health would be don't do dumb shit for your joints. <laughs> Sleep enough, drink enough water. Yeah. Don't eat inflammatory shit. Take your fish oil or your flax or whatever. Mobility stuff. At, right, and, and, and flexibility, mobility. But, but supplement at the top of the pyramid, that little 1%. Glucosamine, chondroitin, MSN. Good shit. Totally works yeah. from from scientific studies, personal experience, yeah, and personal clients' experience. experience. Sure. So that's good. What else we got? I uh, feel like we haven't even scratched the surface. There's, there's a lot. There's a because, lot. like I said, supplements are fucking drugs, yeah. medicine, yeah. sleep, performance, nootropics, mushrooms, health, vitamins, minerals, oils, food. Ba 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 ba. Uh, fiber supplement. Don't talk about this one. Great one. So like, uh, just I like psyllium fiber. husk and yeah, stuff like that. So I would say super legit. More is not better. You learn that one the hard way. You learn that one the hard way. There's like a diminishing returns of like perfect diarrhea and then going so much that you're constipated. Yeah. You ever take too much fiber? Yeah. It, it's like you either blow your ass out well, is, or too, not shit for three days. Is it the more fiber you take, the more water you have Soaking to take? Water. And most people aren't getting enough water nope. as it is. Like we talked about hydration. I was going to say, you should probably start with water start and with some water extra first. vegetables. Water However, psyllium husk or a fiber supplement in general... Yeah. Big Legit. Big that's uh, a good one. Let's do like two more. Did we talk caffeine? Because that's a supplement. Yeah, I guess we talked a little bit about caffeine. Um, what about, um, what is it called? Um, or maybe we roll into what we currently take. So uh, yeah, more, more might come up. Yeah. Stuff in there. Honestly, right now, I'm Mr. Basic. Me too. Um, in the morning, I'll go with a... Um, vitamin D, 
And sometimes I'll take like a milk thistle or a liver supplement just, okay. just to keep the liver shiny and clean. And I always do that before and after I drink alcohol, which is on occasion, but like I get horrible yeah. hangovers. Yeah. So like I have a nice liver supplement on hand. Um, and that's it, vitamin D. Oh, uh, right now I only have a big bag of pink Himalayan sea salt, so I'm supplementing iodine currently. Okay. But it's in salt if you're using regular salt. Do you salt. consider like your mud water stuff a supplement? <sighs> to me that's just tea, but then again, it has supplements within it. Yeah. So yeah, so, so I'm taking that for sure. Oh, and I'm glad you reminded me that. I, th that's the thing, so not only am I taking that, but I'm stacking it with Paul Stamets special seven okay. yeah, of yeah. mushrooms. Yeah. Chaga, reishi, turkey tail, all those Lime mushrooms uh, uh, that we mentioned for immune, and then some more lines. Lime man, top that. Just so I can speak like Got a normal on. human being. Da, 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 da. Yeah. And um, then, like you said, the tea. So I guess that does count because that has caffeine, caffeine. And, uh, and other nootropics yeah. in it. Then um, at night, just uh, 800 milligrams of magnesium citrate. Okay. 60 milligrams of zinc picolinate and 30 to 60 milligrams of CBD before bed. Take any workout supplements currently or no? No, because now I'm just doing either nothing because the tea is enough or that Jocko in a can. Jocko in a can. Yeah. High, high, um, theanine. high theanine, low caffeine. Low caffeine. Yeah. So it's more of like a focus deal versus like a super stim. Yeah. Um, really nothing else. Yeah. Like super basic right now. Because I've tried it all, literally. Yeah. It's funny, good, the more good, you try, the less you know you need. So The more you try everything, the less you need. Yeah. And the only other thing that I would say, oh, and uh, fish oil with dinner. So like a, okay. I do liquid, do like a fish uh, oil? Yeah. liquid Carlson's fish oil just because it absorbs better. And kind of oh, Barleen's is the flax oil. Yes! I was thinking the black. Um, the black yeah. That's exactly They're, right. I like their stuff. Yes. Um, it's good, legit stuff. So Carlson for fish oil, Barleen's for flax oil. Yeah. Sweet. Helping the people. I'm yeah, pretty sure yeah. that's it. Unless you want to count like, you know, if you make yogurt or, or sauerkraut nah, homemade, so it's a that, supplement yeah. because that's how I get my probiotics. Probiotic, but. You know what I mean? Because I'm doing that. Oh, I've, I've made my own kombucha. I've made my own really? whatever. Yeah. But I drink kombucha. Yeah. Is that a supplement? Is that a fucking drink? That's but it. that's how I get my probiotics. probiotics so I'm Mr. Basic. What yeah. else you got? Um, I'm again like a vegan. Unless right you're now. counting monthly and occasional um, plant medicines and ceremonies and journeys, uh, like a little spiritual because that's definitely supplement. a spiritual supplement yeah. for sure. And there's many of those. Um, if people have heard of ayahuasca or magic psilocybin mushrooms, magic mushrooms or this and that, once again, recreational drugs do them at your own risk. Spiritual drugs, either do your own homework first or consult your local shaman. Yeah. But for, that doesn't make them bad whatsoever. Um, yeah, very transformative, powerfully positive. Yeah, so that's where a lot of my, if used correctly, like everything else. Like everything else, yeah. So what do you got? Um, morning, some, afternoon, night? Yeah, do you morning, break it up? Yeah, I have like a, I got some pill boxes that I break up just for myself to keep it easy. But <laughs> uh, morning ashwagandha, like first thing in the morning on an empty stomach. Awesome. Because I'll do some... Like journaling and I end up doing some creative stuff within the first four hours in the morning um, and meditation too and then I'll take like a I'm on a vegan-ish right now vegetarian vegan mostly so I take like a supplement for that that has vitamin D zinc the K vitamins some other good stuff in there B um, and whatnot yes yeah, so B, B, B complex in there and then psyllium because the digestive stuff is always good it helps me out um, I do have um, a curcumin supplement. I don't usually do it because I usually actually have turmeric stuff that I, I usually actually have turmeric right. that I use. Or um, and I use that. What's well, funny? I have a tea. Well, I've, I've I actually have a lot of curcumin in my deck because I do gold milk. This gold milk powder. You ever had that? Oh yeah. And this one's loaded with a couple of different stuff, so that's in there. Um, some nootropic stuff too, as well, and some sleep stuff at nighttime. And then I do take a, a trifala. You ever heard of trifala? Yeah. So that's like a Ayurvedic digestive supplement. Um, that one just kind of helps stimulate digestion, basically is what it does. You know, like it has a lot of like mystical terminology. You can't get too caught up with it, but if you know the science behind it, what it does, it's actually legit for helping out there. And that's pretty much it. That's Don't, probably the best way to describe any supplement is like the marketing is 99.9% .9 bullshit, but if you do the science, each one can yeah. help in a certain situation. Yeah, I mean like the whole, like anything you see, everything is 
has a price now, like a tag. So like, and it's, marketing is literally the, the, the job of selling you something. <laughs> they want you to buy it. So you just do the research, and even those research sometimes are for marketing purposes. Sure. So, but just, you know. Yeah, I don't like to be, be sold skeptical. on anything. Be right, I was going to say, I'll I like to skeptical. question everything, right? Think for yourself, question everything. I think life, you have to have a good balance of some trust and some skepticism. Yeah, openness. But some right, skepticism. right, right, right. Because if you're not open, you say, like, this, everything's bullshit. Everything's bullshit, right, then, then you're, you're missing, missing out. out but stuff. if everything's there, everything's great, then you're, you're gullible and taking advantage yeah. of it. Yeah. So that's a good the scale of the balance. So, so scale. I like it. So... Macros, micros, total calories, food choices. The cherry on top is the supplements. Play around for stuff per, for performance specific to your goals. Get your blood work to see what gaps you need to fill in. Take your fucking vitamin D unless you're living in the fucking African Sahara with no shirt on all day and a grass skirt. Um, other than that, you probably need vitamin D. Yeah. More if you're female, more if you're darker skin, because my shitty skin is absorbing the sun. Your beautiful skin is reflecting the sun, so you're not going to get as much vitamin D. Yeah. Um, so that's just one way to look at it. I don't know if we mentioned that. You Racist. probably want approximately <laughs> right 5,000 to 10,000 IUs of yeah. vitamin D, somewhere in that range. More is not say, yeah. worse nor better, but super much more is not great because yeah. it's um, five thousand to ten thousand. Yeah. It's a big enough range for you to figure that out based upon your body weight, gender, and melanin yeah. content in your skin. Um, like I said, if you're a, a large African woman, you might need more in range of that than yeah. a fucking super pale skinny boy. Yeah. Um, but either way, 5,000 to 10,000 I use vitamin D every day. It's fat soluble, so you're taking it in the morning with some beautiful food or your first meal if you're one of these crazy fasters. Mm -hmm. That could be another topic. Types of diets. Yeah. Intermittent a fasting. A lot of those. Ketogenic. Yeah. The All that ketogenes. shit. So either way, take your vitamins, say your prayers. We're going to see you on the next one. Deuces. Peace. Peace.